What's going on guys? Welcome back for another video. We're gonna talk about not feeling rushed in the swing and how we can achieve that not rushed feeling. So a common thing that players tend to tell me is they feel very rushed. They feel very rushed in their, in their swings and they can't control anything. Well, the rushed feeling isn't necessarily you trying to hit it too hard because we want you to hit it hard. We want you to hit the ball as hard as you can so you can hit the ball far, have a big advantage over your playing partners and, and swing a shorter club into the greens. So what causes you to feel rushed in reality is from the top of the backswing, you pull your hands down very hard in transition in an effort to hit the ball hard. You're trying to pull your hands so hard down back to the ground and to swing the club, that's the rush feeling because from the top of the swing, if your hands start coming down too early and too soon, you're running out of time and space to do anything else. We want the sequencing, as, and we've always heard about it, we want to start from the ground first. If we're trying to start with the ground first, so we squat and rotate, let that energy transfer up my legs, into my torso, into my arms, into my hands, into my club. If I want to do all of that, I have to keep my arms and hands at the back of the bus, okay? They're, they can't be the first ones to go on the down swing, okay? Because if they go first, one, the arm has disconnected from the torso, no energy will transfer to the arms. And secondly, if I pull it down, I have no time to do all that good stuff with the legs, with the body. So that's why people feel rushed because they run out of time and space to do things. And hence, you're gonna feel like, oh, what am I gonna do? And things get very chaotic down at the ball. So in order to fix that, what you wanna do is try to do this. When you make your backswing, I want you to feel like you're almost and without stopping fully, I want you to feel like you're, roll, you're running through a stop sign, okay? A lot of people don't stop fully at stop signs. You know, it's, it's not an uncommon thing, but they tend to slowly roll through the stop sign where they almost stop, but they don't really stop. And that's the feeling I want you to have at the top of the backswing here. So you can see if this is a traditional stop at the top drill, where I'm gonna stop at the top for three seconds and then hit, I want you to modify this drill now into the rolling through the stop sign feel, okay? So if I hit another one for you guys, I'm going to, as you guys can see, I'm gonna make my backswing as is, and as I approach the top, and the top of the backswing is that stop sign, as I approach the top, I'm gonna to start slowly rolling through. You can see I'm not really stopping fully, I'm still gliding through that stop, and then hit. So it's gonna kinda of look like this, okay? And you can see I'm making my backswing, I'm slowly rolling through the stop, rolling through the top, and then hitting the ball. That, do, by doing this drill, it's gonna help you not pull down. Because if you pull your hands down, you're just running the stops, and there's no attempt or effort to check both sides to stop. So let me do one more for you guys. And as you can see, if you can try to run through the stop sign at the top, it's gonna give you so much more time and space to try to squat and rotate. If you do it properly where you can keep everything back and you're rotating, impact will feel way later than you're used to feeling. You might even miss the ball and that's okay because things are trying to change. You're trying to improve, things will change. If the feelings are the same, you're probably not changing and you're gonna get the same result that we both don't want. So let me do that drill one more time for you guys. Again, I'm gonna make my backswing. I'm gonna to try to run through the stop sign slowly and then hit. So it's gonna look like this. And as you guys can see, it just gets a little slower at the end where I'm slowly running through the top, running through the stop sign. So hope that explains why people feel rushed. You know, hope you guys stop pulling down on the handle because things get very steep, things get very chaotic. It's not a very predictable pattern in how you want to move and how you want to make an athletic downswing. So, so try to stroll out, you know, roll through the stop sign. Don't actually roll through the stop sign in real life when you drive, but roll through the stops and roll through the top as you get to the end of your backswings and then hit. So try that out. Any questions, let me know and we're gonna go from there. Thanks guys.